No. Open the page. I don't want to hear you say that. Put that umbrella around the one to take it off you. Warum? New head of languages, Anna Clark, has a challenge to face. One year into her role as a middle manager at Greycourt School in Richmond-upon-Thames, she's about to performance manage a high flyer. No. No. S. S. Sued. Chris Rhodes is a fast-track teacher. What is it? No. He's heading for management himself and has been teaching for just over a year. Anna's hoping John Bailey will guide her through. Chris's target is to get at least seven pupils to A grade standard by the end of year 10. Oh, come on, sir. We are watching a top set year 10 this time. So we're going to be looking for high level questioning, AFL, exam technique, and clarity of response. The titre, c'est la famille. Super bien. By the end of this lesson, all of you, every single one of you, will be able to identify key points in a dialogue about families. Most of you, yeah, I'm hoping the vast majority, will be successful in answering GCSE reading questions. Chris's top set Year 10 class are six weeks into their GCSE course. Extended answers. It was a good classic three-part lesson, mm. and he threw lots of energy at it. Combien il a ta i personne dans famille? Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? Oui, Tom. How many people are there in your family? Oui, mais c'est pas dans le bon ordre. Oui? Oui. Donc, uh, comment on dit ça en français? Uh, dans ma famille, nous sommes trois. Oui, mais ça, c'est la question. Mais c'est quoi? Oh, ça... right, um, how, how, how many pe people in family? OK. Like, translated. Mm. They didn't understand. Didn't they understand. had to turn mm. the statements into questions. Il faut mettre les mots dans le bon ordre pour créer une question. I've got no, to admit, I didn't no. quite understand what we were meant to be doing with this data. No. And I was relieved that you didn't either, because I thought, oh, it's not just yeah, me. Yeah, I did. Do you, know, do you understand what you're doing? No. 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 Well, put, you put the words in the right order to oh, make the question. Oh, I see. Yeah. Shh. Do you understand? These are all questions that you've been doing. Put a question in the right order. Yeah. Exactement. Mettre les mots dans le bon ordre. But you've got to put that question in the right order. Oh. It was one of the few mistakes that he made, was just simply not being clear enough on that one point. Yeah, what going to... Trois, deux, un, stop. Use of ICT was good, his, his slides were good, although one thing okay. he does need to take care of is typos, spelling mistakes, because there were quite a few. On commence ici. Allez. Chris has missed out the duh in the first sentence. Allez. Il y a combien de personnes dans sa famille? Il y a combien de personnes dans sa famille? Super. Jacob et Tom. Qu'est-ce que c'est tu vas faire en week-end sa famille? Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire en week-end sa famille? Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire? Presque. James, il a raison? Fais, fais voir, fais voir. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire en week-end, sa famille, c'est bien? Non. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire? Uh, swap that with that, I think. So, qu'est-ce que tu vas faire, c'est... Week-end, en famille. OK, or en famille, c'est week-end, c'est super, OK? So, you see what you've got to change there? This is a very efficient exam class, isn't it? This is, mm. a, this is, this is someone mm. teaching children how to pass an exam. And, um, a lot, yes. Oh, amongst, amongst other yeah. things. Some of you have got more words than others to fill in the gaps from, OK? What's the key to listening activities? Yes, Carl? Silence. Silence is a very good one, yes. <laughs> but what, what else do we try and do? Slow it down in your head. Slow it down in your head, OK? Listen for gist. Listen for gist. And the big one that I keep going on about? Put it into context. Into context. Well, oh, yes, yeah, sort of. He's teaching them how to learn. It's not just that he's teaching them to pass an exam. He's teaching them how to... 
tackle things themselves. So it's not just I am teaching you these sentences okay. in a foreign language. OK, good. So he's teaching, he's teaching them independently. He's giving them strategies, okay. isn't he? Three, two, one, numéro deux. Ma mère s'appelle Cathy. Elle a 54 ans, les yeux marrons et les cheveux bruns. I think that maybe the independent learning wasn't quite as evident as it could have been, but that's one of the few things, really, that, that were, were, was an area for um, development. Um, but it looks like quite a static classroom. OK, you think about it for a minute. Come on, son, come on, wake up, folks. This is what it's all about, yeah? Come on, son, c'est relation avec tes parents. Yes? J'ai de bonnes relations avec ma famille. Pourquoi? It was one child speaking at a time and yeah, well, led a, by yeah, him. A queue of 29 other children. Yeah. I'm wondering yeah. whether yeah, the introduction of more group uh, work around the department would allow more it. children to talk more often. Okay. And what are you going to do in family this weekend? This weekend, we will go and see my grandparents. We will go and see our grandparents. What's he just said? What did he just say? What did he just say? Come on, someone else. Come on, someone else. News. Come on. Jamie, say it again. Qu'est-ce que t'as dit là? Nous irons voir mes grands-parents. What's he going to do? See his grandparents. Yeah. His questioning technique, I thought, improved throughout the lesson. Um, and it was noticeable during the speaking activity at the end how he was asking different students, different questions, phrasing them differently, and it showed his knowledge of their ability and their confidence levels. How can we develop our oral skills? Shh. Shh. I can tell that people are a bit nervous about control issues here. Every now I hear him saying, shh, shh. Mm. And yesterday I heard, I heard Audrey going, shh, shh. And I thought, Nerves, and I thought what's, what's their problem? Two minutes, travailler à deux. OK? Two minutes in pairs. Discuss. Go. Shh. Chris has left two minutes for the plenary section to discuss exam technique. Discuss the best ways to approach listening activities. Uh, no, just listening class, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> the last thing I read was that you increase knowledge retention by 17% by doing a proper plenary. Mm. So it should be more than 2% of, of the lesson time, so, yeah. so, so that's quite important, isn't it? Ah, uh, stop. Posey vos stilo. Right. So, what do we need to do in a GCSE reading paper to get those top marks? Yeah? Um, What's the key thing about reading papers? Just try and see if any of the words, like, if you understand any of the words or something. You're quite right. Go on. Anticipation. Anticipation. All right, people, yeah? So we are looking for those extra marks. Every word counts. OK, you've been brilliant. Pack your stuff away. You shouldn't be spending two years saying, how are we going to get them to talk more? Mm. Because you've got a lot of talent. Yeah. Um, but there's something... Yeah. Yeah, there's something stopping people. Yeah. I was watching a fabulous language teacher. She does an enormous amount of teaching through games. You know, the children will be running around with their whiteboards, giving each other messages to decode and say, mm. hurry up, find out what it means, because I've got to go and pronounce it to her in two seconds or else I don't get a prize. Yeah. And they're writing secret messages to each other and they're, they're standing on chairs reciting their poems. It's, you know, it, it's, it's as different as, as chalk from cheese. Although Anna doesn't share John's concerns about teaching to the exam, she does want to encourage Chris to introduce more independent learning. I mean, your energy in the lesson was, was, was pretty amazing and I think that really helped inspire the kids to, to perform at the level that they did. The questioning, which was one of the areas that we were looking at as far as your performance management um, target goes, um, you managed to get in quite a lot of differentiation through your questioning. Yeah. Tailoring your questions to, to fit the student that you were asking, I thought was done particularly well. Um, the ICT, um, I thought that the use of PowerPoint was very good. The visuals were nice and clear. You didn't try to do anything too fancy as far as background, so it was nice, good font, good size, nice and easy for the kids to read. One thing that you need to take care about is typos, yeah. spelling mistakes on there and so on, because there were a few. But you can correct them yourself anyway, can't you? So, elle était plus... And then think about the adjective endings again. It's feminine. 
a few of the kids spotted some of them, and you spotted some of them. Sorry, I've missed the lead off there. And, I mean, we all make mistakes occasionally, but if they're copying down those sentences into their books, that'll be what they remember. Yeah, that's remember. what they end up in um, So just being really careful with that. Um, I mean, how do you think? Uh, I've, I've given you a few of my, my thoughts there um, on some specific things. How do you feel about the lesson as, as a whole? Were you pleased with it? Yeah, yeah, it was. It, it was nice. It was nice to see what the kids can do. There, there is the odd child, perhaps, that I'm not really challenging, and I'm not that is not being included in 100% of the lesson. I think they're all getting something out of it, whereas a lot are getting a lot, and maybe a few are not getting as much as they should, and that's something that I'd like to work on. Mm. Um, perhaps the plenary was a little rushed. It was a little bit, but um, not as rushed as I've seen some. Um, I think the fact that the bell went before you'd would, before you'd finished, uh, probably a couple of minutes more would have been yeah, would have of, been a, enough a couple of minutes. To, to, for you to feel that you'd, you'd, you'd tied it all up. Um, what would you say was the key thing that you'd actually like to to focus on from from there? Which yeah, think I, th I, th I think it's I think it's hand, handing a little bit of responsibility back back to the. Uh, Back to the children, and perhaps um, I've been told quite often not to work as hard in a in a in a lesson situation um, because I won't last very long. So perhaps the pace doesn't have to all come from me. So mm. perhaps sitting down, you know, giving them more autonomy for their learning without me running around the room and clapping and and yeah. all singing, all dancing yeah. every lesson. I mean, you are an all singing, all dancing teacher, and I think it's it's absolutely great that you do that. And setting the pace is is, is great. What you need to be able to do now is to set the pace and for them to sustain it. <laughs> We need to professionalise this. I'd like to have seen them writing down your comments. Mm -hmm. um, and as a matter of fact, that might feed into a larger set of ideas, which is um, it'd be a good idea if there was a, a protocol and a pro forma for these kinds yeah. of feedbacks. Yeah. So that it would give a really nice, clear uh, structure to the business. Because yes. it's, it's, a, it's, it's a pretty business-like kind of exercise. Yeah. Um, don't forget to be assertive. Uh, at the end, you mentioned the plenary. Mm -hmm. uh, you said. Yeah, you know, a bit of an issue of timing. He said, well, yeah, he said, yes, there was a bit of an issue of timing. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you said something like, well, it wasn't that bad. It could just have been a couple of minutes mm. more. But um, I think you know, people really want support and clear guidance. Yeah. Sometimes if you've got difficult things to say to people, it's a good thing to put it in context. Say the positive thing first and then, then the more challenging thing, then end on the positive. But I think you can move that round. You know, with Chris, um, he was giving you lots of leads on giving it back to the children. Mm -hmm. But what does that mean? What are we going to see? Mm. Are we going to see high and low attainers talking with each other? Are we going to see children assessing their own work and then using that to give uh, responses to the classroom teacher? Yeah. Um, are we going to see uh, different groups of children acting as mentors to each other? Uh, are we going to see different seating plans for different purposes? I mean, I'm making this up as I go mm. along because I'm not the subject specialist. Yeah. Um, but what does it mean? Now, of course, you might not know the answer to that yourself right now mm -hmm. because it may be that, that you need to take it back to the department or maybe back to the whole school uh, and, and think it over. But I, I think you know, the more precision, the better. Yeah.